Do you know what Sarpy County has to offer, Mayor? Do you? Well, it's time for another Sarpy County Spotlight. <laughs> Bellevue Berry and Pumpkin Ranch is one of the most unique destinations around. By day, it's festive and fun, but at night, things can take a creepy turn. Well, Mike. this guy knows all about that. Ed Schaefer, we like to call him Cowboy Ed around hey, here. Ed. Cowboy Ed, how you doing, buddy? It's always great Good. to have you yeah. here. Good to have well, you back. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks how, for How things going over there? Describe some of the activities during the day at the farm. Well, we're working full time trying to get ready for pumpkins, you know, cutting some pumpkins, but the, the main attraction right now is getting the haunted house and the haunted uh, hayride uh, in the Ranch of Terror also. Yeah. Getting it, get it, yeah. getting it haunted. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. you've added some new elements this year, which we is did. great uh -huh. because that, you know, the Ranch of Terror was already an award-winning attraction, <laughs> and so that you continue to, to improve upon it, I think, says a lot about you and the experience you want people to have. So what is new, Ed? Well, we have... Uh, during the pirate festival, a lot of the pirates decided they wanted to come back. <laughs> so we're going to have pirates on the pirate ship <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh, doing sword fighting. And we've got a lot of uh, uh, mechanical stuff that we're using in the haunted hayride. Uh -huh. uh, it's just, uh, it's phenomenal. In fact, we drove, uh, my wife and I drove through uh, last night just to take a look. And, uh, and we said, wow, this is great. My boys have been working full time on that. And... Uh, so we're getting set. Uh, this weekend we open up for pumpkins, and the following weekend we'll be open for our haunted stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, we're taking a look at a lot of the kids right there, but yeah. you know, all ages really at the farm. But are there some activities, maybe some of the haunted stuff that are for older kids, or is this mm -hmm. age appropriate for everybody? Uh, you know, daytime it's good for everybody. We have it toned down. At nighttime, <laughs> if we don't tone, we tone it down, <laughs> right? <laughs> at nighttime, if we don't really scare the people, they get mad. Uh -huh. Right. So it's a little bit older kids. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'd say, you know, from 10 on up. The Ranch of adults. Terror is known as the longest haunted attraction in Nebraska in terms of walking through the front door from and the by the time, time you takes. make your way through. How, how long does it take? Well, it's going to be almost twice as long this year because really? we've added twice wow. as long. Yeah, when you get through, it's a little bit inside, but a lot of it's outside going through the, some mazes. Mm -hmm and uh, working the way through the uh, Indian caves or pirate, yeah. Yeah. pirate caves. We change the name every once in a while. This year it's pirate caves. Uh, and then we go through the western town and then we go s through the, uh, which we just built a zombie trail. And uh, uh, the so hay rides are gonna go on the back and the people will actually be inside acting for the hayride people. We need wow. to take a couple of days off work to get through this thing? <laughs> yeah, how, yeah. how long does it take? I mean, how, how, uh, you, could, you could spend 45 minutes yeah. just on the trail walking well, through. And that's great Easy. because when you spend money to get in and you want to, you really want to get something for your dollar, it's yeah. nice to have a good solid experience like that. Well then we, we also have a pirate's pub which yeah. for adults they can come up and have a beer and uh, and kick back and mm -hmm. watch the kids play on the pirate mm -hmm. ship. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Groups can also rent Right, sort of a campfire. Oh yeah, if yeah. they want to come. So if it's just right. a group of friends or yep. even a bachelorette party. Yeah, and we set like up a beer cool. tent up there, so we have to check for 21, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have over 30 different campsites, and there's a big beer tent near nearby. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Oktoberfest too. What's planned for that? Ed? Uh, that's uh, going to be going every Friday, and we'll have uh, half price brats and uh, and uh, good German beer mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, local beer. You know, we're, That's great. you were talking about you brought in a couple of pumpkins and you were talking about you you're starting to pick a couple a few of the pumpkins yeah off some of, there, of the right? pumpkins uh, are turning when is it officially when's the pumpkin picking yeah. start well we pick some uh, uh, if we don't have a we, if we don't have a frost <laughs> we'll be picking all the way up to the yeah. end of October yeah. yeah and you also brought in some other things here so what well, give us a, well, a we taste have, of what uh, you have yeah we have jams jellies yeah uh, stuff made at the farm this is honey straight from the bees at the farm, yeah. and these are a new type of pumpkin that we grow. Let They're just—it's a small pumpkin, but it's more like a Cinderella type pumpkin. Oh, uh, I've always fancied and, uh, myself. Some Cinderella. of these are ready. So you make the the, the jams and jellies. Uh, right? Yeah, right. we have some organic jams and jellies that are made right at the farm. Yeah. Some of the ones that we, uh, uh, the jellies that we don't, you know, grow ourselves, mm -hmm. but we have. We're still picking raspberries, it's red raspberries, farm. blackberries, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, strawberries. Season's course over, but uh, we got plenty of apples, so we do a lot of apple jellies and jams. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about cost, because you, you have so much to offer out there. It sounds like this might cost a hundred bucks a ticket, <laughs> but it's not. How much does it cost? Well, it's, uh, the regular price uh, in uh, end of September, October is eight dollars for daytime admission, and includes hay ride through the woods. Mm -hmm. Woods, they can ride as much as they want. Mm -hmm. Kids play areas. We have blow-up uh, activities. There's a 
blow up pirate ship and a yeah. big slide that kids can go it's on. It's just amazing. Well, nighttime's a little more. It's uh, it's like uh, eleven dollars. That includes tax for the nighttime hayride, uh, eleven for the uh, uh, for the walk, mm -hmm. uh, or they can get a combination ticket for twenty. Does yeah. it matter which what time of day you're coming? If you bring the canned food item to save you get a dollar, uh, yeah. yeah, you get a dollar. That could be day or night. Yeah, day or yeah. night. Yeah, that's go, all goes to the food bank. Yeah, How do we get I, to you, Ed? Because I, I know a lot of our viewers might not have been to your farm okay. before. Well, we're on Forty Eighth Street. Uh, we're south of Cornhusker Road, mm -hmm. north of Highway 370. And there's a big sign. Yeah. <laughs> if you get close, yeah, so it's what's hard the best to miss. Way? I mean, going down Kennedy, down. Yeah, that's how yeah, I you go there. Yeah, that way. way. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's Straight my choice. Yeah. Online, it's BellevueBerryFarm.com. You can read up on some of the great things happening there throughout the fall, and there's a lot. So we've done our best to cover most of it with that, but we just we can't get to all of it. Yeah, They're also on Facebook, too, if you want to plug in there. Well, I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Bring the yeah. kids down. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a great place. You, yeah. Thank you. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks appreciate for having you. Me. Keep it up.